Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some Regalia Lost because hey, guess what? News is here! And the 1.5 year um, starts basically in two, one day, depending on when you see this. It's coming on the 26th on reset. So not this reset, the next reset. This is not going to make any sense after it's released, but whatever. And today we're going to be talking about one of the things that was announced in it, the brand new Gala unit, or Gala. Gala, Gala, whatever, it doesn't matter. Gala Alex. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. And if you end up liking this, uh, please leave a like. That always helps me with my channel, as always. And if you like this video, if you don't like the video, don't leave a like. Simple. And also make sure to comment. How are you feeling about Alex? Are you hyped for Alex? I I'm, I've been waiting for one with Gala. You know, funny enough, when, she, when we first got um, Alex, actually, I actually assumed that she was going to be a Gala unit from the start. And then when we got the free-to-play version, I was like, oh, okay then. I guess it's going to be a while, so. All right, let's get into it. Let's, without enough of the front-facing whatever. Okay, whatever happens, I'll keep Ella Sane safe. Gala Alex. With a new outfit, Alex has become Ella Sane's personal guard. The White Hood represents... Her leaving the assassin life, and she swears to vow upon her blade to safeguard her friend and never lose heart, no matter what. Which is why she's no longer a dagger unit, she's a sword unit. Huh. It's a nice little detail. Alright. <clears throat> you get ready for this one. Crisis Edge deals shadow damage to the target and reduces their defense by 5% for 15 seconds. This defense reduction will not stack. After using this skill for a set period of time, it will be possible to trigger a skill chain using Crisis Edge during this window will make it deal shadow damage to enemies directly ahead and deal bonus damage afterwards, and in both cases damage is increased against foes with reduced defense. Furthermore, if the target meets one of the following conditions when using Umbral Eraser, this will also result in a skill chain, altering the effects of Crisis Edge. If it is used during the skill chain window, in this case it will deal shadow damage to the target along with the following bonus effects depending on which condition is met. 1. If the target has a buff, the skill will dispel one buff from them and deal damage afterwards. This bonus damage will be increased if the foe's defense is reduced. 2. If the target is in break state, this skill will deal extra damage to them. It will also deal bonus damage afterwards. This bonus damage will also be increased by the enemy being in break state. If any enemy meets both of the above conditions, conditions will be prioritized. Whew. Umbral Eraser. It deals shadow damage to the target and inflicts poison. After using this skill for a set period of time, it will be possible to trigger a skill chain using Umbral Eraser during this window. It will make it deal shadow damage to the target and deal bonus damage afterwards, and in both cases, damage is increased against poison foes. Furthermore, if the skill meets one of the following conditions when using Crisis Edge, this will result in a skill chain, altering the effects of Umbral Eraser. Eraser. If it is used during the skill chain window, in this case, it will deal shadow damage to the target along with the following bonus effects depending on which condition is met. 1. If the target has a buff, this skill will dispel one buff from them and deal bonus damage afterwards. This bonus will be increased if the foe is poison. If the target is in break state, this will deal extra damage and will deal bonus damage afterwards. The bonus damage will be increased if the enemy is in break state. If the enemy meets both of the above conditions, uh, both can, um, both, if the enemy meets, <laughs> how am, did I read all that and then mess up at the end? If an enemy meets both of the above conditions, condition one will be prioritized. Wow, wait, what? So, so just to be sure, yeah, okay. So is that the same for this one? Yeah. Okay, so one will always be prioritized no matter what. Um, interesting. So that means that if they're in break state, you can only get one of these then. Huh. Okay. Dragon Haste, 15%. Increased Dragon Gauge Fill Rate by 15%. Benefits your whole team. Poison equals user strength plus 13%. If a team member is attuned to shadow, increase their strength by 13% for 15 seconds. When they successfully poison an enemy after activate, activation, this ability will not act again for 10 seconds. Benefits the whole team. Reduced defense punisher plus 30%. Increased damage dealt with an enemy is reduced by defense by 30%. Guardian shadow 2 reduces susceptibility to blindness and paralysis by 100%. And poison punisher at 30%. Uh, okay, so let me see. The stats are shown. A chain co-op abilities that will be added to the version are not available. Okay, so her co-op ability, which is something brand new to the game, by the way, they added it literally today. Um, I'll focus that. I'll talk about that in another video. 
So here's the thing that's weird about it is I think, yeah, let me continue reading on here. Adventure's characteristic. Instead of skill gauges, Gala Alex features a new functionality called skill reserves. Reser reservoirs? Reservoirs, which is consumed when she uses skills. This does not apply to weapon skills. The skill reservoir fits as your enemies with attacks, and if it's possible to fill it up enough to unleash skills up to three times each use of Alex's Crisis Age, the Umbral Erasure skill decreases the skill reserve by one level. And hitting enemies with skills consistently activates skill chains. When skill chains activate, enemies will suffer additional effects and damage based on skill combination and the state of the enemy. As you can see here. Yeah, perfect. I think this is actually kind of similar to... Yeah, this seems like a more manageable version of the Mega Man ver of what Mega Man has, actually. If skill chain can be... Except for the skill chain part. If skill chain can be used... I just mean in terms of this, by the way. Because when you... It's completely different. I just mean the top thing right here. I just had to be clear. Um, skill chain examples using Crisis Edge first use. The Crisis Edge skill is used. The target takes shadow damage and the enemy defenses decrease. Second use. The following skill chain may occur depending on the state of the enemy and the skill that is used. A. The Crisis, <laughs> the crisis Edge skill is used and skill chain activates. The enemy directly ahead takes shadow damage. Enemies with decreased defense take extra damage. Skill deals bonus damage. Enemies with decreased skill. The Umbral Erasure skill is used while the target is under the effects of the buff condition 1 and the skill chain activates. The target takes shadow damage and one buff effect ends. The skill damage, uh, the skill deals da bonus damage. Uh, hmm. And C. The Umbral Erasure skill is used while the target is in the break state. Condition 2 and the skill chain activates. The targets take shadow damage, enemies in the break state take extra damage. The skill deals bonus damage. If the target meets both condition 1 and condition 2, then condition on Condition 1 will be prioritized. Skill chain examples for using Umbral Eraser. First use, the Umbral Eraser skill is used. The target takes shadow damage and is afflicted with poison. Second use, the following skill chains may occur depending on the state of the enemy of the skill that is used. The Umbral Eraser skill is used and the skill chain activates. The target takes sh uh, shadow damage, enemies afflicted with poison take extra damage. The skill deals bonus damage, enemies afflicted with poison take extra damage. And there's a lot of other... Whew. But yeah, that's... It's a brand new kind of way for a unit to be played. It's very interesting that they're experimenting. Um, they've been experimenting a lot more with units, and this is basically a new kind of experimentation of them. Now, as for... This is actually what's kind of interesting, is that I really want to try this out, because it sounds crazy. It's one of those things, like, first of all, look at this. This actually, the reason I'm having a hard time, like, trying to figure this out at least in terms of how it was used, is that uh, this all looks like math to me when you say A. But one moment, uh, give me a second, because maybe I think Alert broke it down a little bit in the chat. Let me see if I can find it. All right, I'm back. And with the very simplest way of explaining it, which is basically when you're using a chain bonus, it only does something when the enemy has a buff on them or is in break mode. If they have a buff and the butt, then the buff is removed and the skill hits for more damage. If they are in a break, then they take more damage. And of course, uh, it looks like um, Umbral. Umbral is the one that's like if they're poisoned, then they take more damage. So that's basically the the understanding of it, is that you use one skill and then the one you use immediately afterwards. So if you used, for example. Um, Crisis Edge, Edge at the start, and then you used Umbral Eraser right afterwards, you would get the bonus effect because it's the chain going. Now, that's also going to be super highly dependent on kind of what you're fighting. I think Crisis Edge is the one that removes the buff. Yes, if the target has a buff. Uh, no, both of them say if the target has a buff. So maybe... If the foe is poisoned... It, okay, that's the difference. This one is Crisis Edge's defense... Umbral Eraser is, does more damage if they have lower defense. Umbral Eraser is for poison. All right, so with all that said, that's a lot to say. How does Alex kind of seem like? I think, hmm. I think she's gonna be pretty solid. The only thing I'm thinking of is, well, here's the good thing, is that I'm pretty sure with this with this moveset, she's kind of already built to take on um, uh, the Ag uh, Agido Uprising for Kai. Because Kai's entire thing is about how he has, like, especially on Extreme, he has, like, a shield and he puts it up, and then either a Cleo or a Nefaria take away the shield, and usually someone saves it and waits for the right time, but then later on in the fight, he can get a whole buttload of shields as well if you screw up. 
But if you have Alex, then you can kind of avoid that entire situation by using your skills, removing the shield, and it's really no problem. It should, in theory, be that you should be able to take away the entire shield. If they gain another shield while you're using the skill, you can then chain the other skill and remove that shield immediately. So if they have double... And that's how I'm thinking it works. But this is another thing where we're going to have to wait for Alex and see what's going to happen. I'm definitely going to summon. I have... Thankfully, this banner has six free multis. So if you're one of the more, uh, if you're if you're tapped out, if all the banners recently have you kind of gone all ham on and you've lost your uh, supply of stuff, you can totally just wait it out and uh, it will be all good for you then. But yeah, that's Alex. That's a mouthful. This is getting harder and harder to kind of understand what these units are doing. Alex, I think, ends up being that it's they're ex over explaining stuff because she's brand new. <laughs> But here's the the real thing. If I end up pulling Alex, I'll figure out how to play Alex. That's the end of the short of it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you if I mess something up, please correct me. I'll gladly uh, read it and figure out the exact right thing. You know, I'm not the most perfect person in the world. As I say, as I'm ready to burp. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. See you later. Have a good day.